All right. Well, we're getting around today. We're about three, four states over. Pretty exciting though, because we're picking up the new boat. Been a lot of speculation on which boat I'm getting. A lot of people have made a bunch of guesses. And to be honest with you, I've only seen one or two people guess the actual boat brand that I ordered. So we're almost to the place. We're about to go pick it up now. And uh, I'm not gonna spoil it just yet. So let's go pick up the daggum boat. All right, so we just got to where we're gonna pick the boat up from. You know, pretty excited. So there's a sign over the door. Y'all are about to see the boat I'm gonna run next year. This boat really fits my style and the way that I like to fish. So it's gonna be a fun one. Pretty excited to get in this one. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. So first, I'll get you all a couple of hats. Y'all want some hats? Absolutely. Can pick you out one, Hunter? You like? Well, she kind of likes these soft tops, don't she? Yeah. Let me get you one. Now you gotta put it on like your like your stuff. I should have been sitting there like I was a draft day or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> draft day. Mostly just molding, R and D, and warranty work. Yeah. Uh, boat has any kind of issue we'll come back here to get fixed over here this is where the stringers are made pretty much foam comes in seat shells come in uh, they'll get the stitching and all sewed on there they hand cut it hand staple it here get all the seats put together and then once they get the seats put together they store them on that shelf right there here's the molds for the bay boats and the ocean boats so 26 28 foot center consoles I'll just take you to the back and we'll work our way up. Yeah, let's check it all out. Let's say this is not something you see every day. Exactly. Resin, fiberglass, everything is getting put into the molds. Everything's hand laid. Uh, you can see them cutting the fiberglass, spraying the resin in. They're rolling the air out of the resin and the fiberglass. When they roll the air out of it, it goes from red to black. This is the initial unveiling of my boat I'll be running next year. This is the Camus CX20. I went a little bit unique with the color scheme. I went all white right here. I really like it. You know, I've seen a picture of an all white boat and I don't know why, but it just made me really want one. So leave me a comment, let me know. Do y'all like the all white or do y'all like the more traditional colors? But there it is, Camus CX20. I told y'all this boat fits my style, a little bit faster than some boats. Still pretty stable, so it's gonna be a good one for, for my style of fishing. It really fits, so pretty awesome. We are bright and early. We're officially in leg number two of, I guess it'd be Operation Bass Boat. So we're over here at Widawi Marine today and we're rigging it up. Got all the stuff right here on the side. We'll just laid on the ground. It's gonna all be on the boat here in just a few hours. So I'm gonna kind of walk y'all through it today. Right now, the bass boat though, doesn't really look like a bass boat because a bass boat's all about what you have on it and the little like stuff, the grass, the trolling motor, all that type of stuff. And right now, it's just a hole in a motor. So in a couple hours, it's gonna all come together and hopefully have it on the water today. All the hard part, I shouldn't say all the hard part, most of the hard part has been kind of conquered today. We got the Sea Clear Power Harness ran, we got the power poles already on the boat, just gotta you know finish up mounting the pump, mounting the pumps, troll motor on, everything's pretty much the guts of everything, the wires of everything are pretty much there, so we just gotta kinda button it all up, put all the screws in, attach everything, and get it how we want it. So it's coming along pretty good. I think we're like three hours in now, so going pretty good for three hours. A lot better than I could do by myself. So there it is, that's that 2022 Bassmaster Elite Series rig. Obviously y'all seen it was a Camus. 
We're over here at Widalia Marine today and they just rigged it. I gotta give a huge shout out to them because they got me in and out of here in one day, got everything rigged. I'm gonna kind of walk y'all through exactly what we did today, step by step. Number one, we went all the way through the boat with a C-Clear power harness. That's gonna help you get a little bit more voltage to your front units that you have up on the very front. And then we obviously had to mount us a motor guide tour. We, we had to put us a Garmin with live scope, live scope transducer. We got a Humbird Helix 12 right here. And I'm also gonna put the Humminbird 360 on this one and I'm going to that's going to be a little bit later in the year whenever we're going up north So that's kind of how the front deck is trolling motor couple graphs and then some forward-facing Transducer and stuff like that right here at the console We obviously ran the seat clear power harness to there You know it runs all the way through and then we put two Humbird Helix 12s right there You know side imaging one and a maps one or whatever I want to do with it down imaging whatever so another thing the last and least thing we had to do was mount the power pole so i don't know how me being a shallow water fisherman don't know how i ever fished without these for years i did because now when i don't have them i absolutely miss them so we got everything rigged up everything buttoned up we're going to now hopefully if this rain will hold off we're gonna go put this sucker in the water and try to break it in for a couple hours this evening when we get out there on the water i'll give you a walkthrough of exactly how the compartments lay out and everything on the inside of the boat and let y'all kind of check that out but if y'all want to see a camus we doubt we will be having some actual Camus boats in stock. If you want to come up here and order one or look, look at one, test drive one, whatever you want to do. And if you just need whatever boat you have, you need some units for it, need to get it rigged, a new trolling motor, whatever, they've also got that. So big shout out to Widow Marine for getting me in and out in one day. I really appreciate it. Now, let's go put this sucker in the water. Look how cute collars. Them gas prices ain't cute. I can tell you that. But I had to put 50 gallons in this daggum boat and it's $3 a gallon. If I can write my name in ice on the back of the truck, it's probably too cold to go fishing. Probably fair. I think it was 28 this morning. It's gonna warm up. By the time we get to the lake, it'll probably be like 37, 38. And a lot of people probably say, well, that ain't that dang cold. I've been fishing in 10 degrees, negative 10 degrees, whatever. But for me, it's cold, man. For me, I'm from Alabama, central Alabama, kind of kind of east Alabama, I guess. It's pretty daggum cold this time of year for uh, in the 30s. It's pretty dang cold for me. Check for breaking in the boat. <laughs> Hunter's a little more bundled up than me. Looks like we're in some different regions of the country. But by the time I get the boat in the water, that's about how I'm gonna look also. So pop this cover off. We, we, you can see the sun's already high. We definitely did not get here at daylight because it, it is uh, a little too cold for that. But let's pop this cover off. The rods in the boat, not all of them I'm ever gonna carry, but we have a pretty good bit of them in there. I don't know how many put in there, 20, 25. I could take those little, uh, probably not 25, probably 15 to 20. Probably take that little rod holder thing out and uh, the one that holds the butts of the rods, and I could probably fit a whole lot more in there. So let's get some tackle and fill this sucker up. So for the first two hours, we've got to run 4,500 RPMs or less, but you got to vary it. So you, you don't want to run the same RPM for very long. And then once every 10 minutes, you want to run wide open throttle, but you have to leave the motor trimmed down in that. For, for two hours, every 10 minutes, wide open, and then vary your RPMs up to 4,500 RPMs in the meantime. So let's go put some hours on this dang boat, 